How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to make custom post-it notes and put them on your home screen or your excuse me, your lock screen. Um, so you can like remind yourself of different things or you know if you want to leave little notes or whatever. There's an app you can use that will let you make these cool post-its and save them on the home screen. So let me show you how it works. First, um, you want to go to the app store. Mine is in a folder. And you want to type in sticky notes. And there's two versions. There's um, Sticky Notes Pro, and then there's the other one, which is um, Sticky Notes with um, Alarms and Bumps Sharing. And basically, I'm using the free one right now. If you use the paid version, you get like extra backgrounds to use. Um, but I'll kind of show you that a little later. So download the app, Sticky Notes. And then let's go to the app and open it up. And it is right here actually. So it looks like this notes, stickies, and I have a note I just did right here. So let me go ahead and delete that. We'll start from scratch. So let me show you how the app works. So, uh, first thing you want to do, hit the, the plus symbol right here in the corner, top corner. And it kind of shows you a couple different things, some new features and whatnot. Uh, you can choose the kind of paper you want to use. So there's like different colors of post-its right here. Or you can go here to paper and you can you can uh use like some cool different, you know, this is like with tape, looks like a torn piece of paper or so you get some other options. There's a little store here. You can actually um download your own special custom backgrounds and whatnot. Um I stick with the free stuff for now. But uh, I guess 99 cents extra, you get the extra stickers and cool stuff on there. Anyway, let's go ahead and just pick a basic post-it for now. I'm going to pick the yellow, old school. Okay, tap on that. And then it pops up on your front screen, okay? So from there, you can type in what you want. And on mine, I put uh, to-do list. And I'll show you how to change the font in a second. So to-do list. Uh, walk dog, uh, groceries, and we'll just go with those two. So now you have this little uh, bar right here where it says keyboard, it says style, it says color, and it says alignment. Click on where it says style, and here is where you can change like the fonts. We can change the font size if you want it big. Or if you want it small, that's a pretty good one right there. Then we can hit done. Let's see, we have color. You can change the color of the text. So I'm going to go with the nice red. I like that red. Then we're going to hit alignment. You can pick if you want left, middle, or right. Hit done. So now there's our post-it, okay? And what's cool is you can actually have more than one post-it on there at one time. So if we hit plus, we can add a second one. And there used to be different sizes, but I guess they changed it, so they just have one size for everything now. But let's say if I want to delete this post-it right here, just hold down, hit delete, and it's gone. I'm going to actually make the second one a piece of paper. So I'm going to hit paper at the bottom, and I want it to be like this paper with the tape on it. I like that cool design. Um, feed cat. Okay. And couple of question or a couple of exclamations on there now we can go to style and I'm gonna change that font to be a little different uh, let's see what's a good font these all suck there we go no nope, I don't like that one either now I'm gonna make the font bigger so I don't forget because again like what I use this this app for is like um, I like to make little notes to remind myself and I'll put it on the lock screen so I know when I turn my iPhone on it'll automatically show up and I'll be able to, uh, you know, remember like if I was supposed to do something for that day. So anyway, there's that. There's also this little button in the center here. This actually lets you make the bigger post-its. No, it doesn't. This is actually a quick, uh, quick button if you just need to, to make a quick post-it and you don't want to like pick a color, you want just a random yellow. Hold down, let's delete that. Okay, so now that we have a couple notes on there, you can just move it to adjust it. Um, 
go ahead and um oh there's this little tab in the bottom corner this is how you change the background color so here they give you a couple of uh different ones here there's that one that one that one the cork board or you can just pick a, a basic color so we can go black we can go green blue i'm gonna go with the gray in this case or actually i'll go with the red i like it to stand out so it just looks better so now hit done and there it is and so in the upper right corner now there's a little arrow and when we hit that arrow it gives you the option to preview it so if you want to see what it looks like on the screen there it is so in this case you might want to adjust it a little bit because you want them both to fit within that that space so now uh, I would go ahead and just kind of move that up a little bit see that now I can change it and now I can go here and go preview again and now I know it fits okay so that's cool uh, you can also uh, you can do a manual screenshot you can post it on Facebook you can attach it to an email uh, upgrade for some extra features but what you want to do uh, is you want to hit save to camera roll which is the second option and then you hit dismiss now what you want to do is close the app and then go to photos and then uh, it will be in your photos uh, photo your camera roll so tap on it and now that you see it here if you uh, go to the bottom left corner and hit the arrow right here sorry there we go It'll now say, you want to come down to where it says use as wallpaper. Click on that. And then here's where we can do a little more adjusting. So if I want to make it bigger, all I have to do is uh, pinch. I can just zoom in on that. Or I can make it smaller like that. I really just wanted to make sure it fits in the center because that's the main goal. Okay. So now hit set. Okay. And then it's going to ask you if you want to... Uh, Save it as your lock screen or your home screen or both. If it's the home screen, it'll be where your apps are. If it's your lock screen, it's the first screen you see when your iPhone comes from going to sleep and you hit the power button, you'll see it right there. We want to make it, for this example, I want to make it on my lock screen. So I'm going to hit set lock screen. Okay. And once that's finished, we're going to go ahead and turn off the iPhone, turn it back on, and bam, there it is. There's our post-it note. And... Our cool feature, now we have our reminders, so we make sure that, hey, we don't forget to uh, feed the cat. We make sure we walk the dog and do the groceries. All right, so uh, this is, again, just a cool posted app, uh, really fun, and, you know, you can really work it and make some nice little uh, posted reminders so you don't forget the important things you got to do, okay? And just to show you what it looks like on the home screen, I have a posted the background right here and so that was cool too I was able to get that on there because I was trying to remember to do some stuff so um, hope that was helpful leave me a comment let me know what you thought of the app and uh, have a good one